Hare Krishna, we are on the 36th verse of the first chapter of Gita. So in this particular verse, so the next uh, three verses that we are going to see, 36, 37 and 38, this com comes under the third topic of sinful reactions, fear of sinful reactions. So first we saw the reason that uh, Arjuna was giving was about compassion. How he's showing that devotee quality of compassion, you know, why should we kill, you know. Uh, uh, these are my own people and uh, killing is not right. So he's showing that devotee quality of compassion. Second, he's talking about loss of enjoyment. I'm not really going to be happy about, uh, you know, killing my own people. You know, and these are not anyone else, but these are my own grandfather-like, father-like, son-like people, uh, relatives that I have here. So I don't want to kill them. Third, we are looking at uh, fear of sinful reaction. That's what he is uh, coming up with third as reason to say, to tell Krishna that he does not want to fight. So this shloka goes like this. Papa meva shraye dasman hatvaita natata inaha tasman narha vayam hantum dhartarashtran sabhandavan swajanam hi katham hatva sukhina syama madhava uh, so he's saying, Papa me ashrayed. Papa, sin, sin will take uh, shelter of us. You know, eva ashrayed. Uh, so will will come upon us, asman upon us by doing what? Hatva etan. Hatva is to kill, finish. Etan. These people, atatai So atatai means aggressors. I was talking about this in the previous verse to say, you know, when it comes, we will talk about it. So who's an aggressor? So there are six types of aggressors that are mentioned in the scriptures. So one who is a poison giver, one who is uh, who's someone who sets fire to another person's house, uh, one who kidnaps or takes away another man's wife, uh, one who plunders another person's riches, one who takes away another person's land, and one who attacks with deadly weapons. So these are atatai. In Sanskrit, in English, it translates as aggressors. So the question is, Arjuna is saying aggressors and then he is saying, Hatva etan atatayinaha papa He is saying, if I killed these aggressors, then sin will come upon us. So it's, a, it's such a contradiction, you know, these are aggressors. So they've done all of this, right? They gave poison to Bhima. Then they put all these five people and set fire on the lac palace. Then they took away uh, uh, Draupadi and they tried to disrobe her. And uh, then uh, they plundered all their riches, right? They did not give them anything. And once they gave little bit, Krishna made in a Khandava Prastha into Indra Prastha. And they took away all the riches. They took away the land. And then they sent them to the forest. And then finally here they are standing. Uh, Duryodhana says, I will not even give you that size of the land where the tip of the pin or a needle would fit in. I will not even give that amount of land to you to rule. If you are truly Kshatriya, come fight me. You know, fight with me and take your land. So now he is going to attack these people with deadly weapons. So are they aggressors? In every single way, Duryodhana and uh, you know, Dhritarashtra's other sons together, and Dhritarashtra himself has been supporting this kind of actions of Duryodhana. So they are definitely aggressors. So why is he even thinking, you know? Uh, so what should these aggressors, uh, wh what should be done with these aggressors? Definitely they should be finished. He's saying aggressors, but he's saying, why should I kill them? So he's showing that saintly nature again uh, uh, to say, I don't want to kill them. Why? because sin will come upon us you know let them be whatever they are but i don't want to do what uh, uh, they are asking me to do because i am not uh, part of making or uh, uh, doing activities which would uh, bring me uh, papa or sins so he says uh, these are aggressors but i'm not going to finish them and then he's saying Tasman narha vayam hantum. So because it will bring sin upon me, I am not na arha. I am not going to vayam hantum, kill these people who dhartarashtran sa bandhavan. 
the sons of Dhritarashtra and also the friends, you know, the friends who are standing amongst them. Swajanam hi katham. You know, these are Swajana, these are my people. They are not uh, someone else. You know, why should I kill them? Katham hatva sukinaha. By killing my Swajanas, how am I going to get happiness? O uh, Madhava. So he's using again another uh, name of uh, Krishna Madhava. So what are the Acharyas saying about why he is using this particular name of Madhava? So Madhava uh, means Ma is Ma Lakshmi. Dhava is the husband of. One who possesses or one who ha who is the husband of Sri Lakshmi. So the, he's saying uh, being a Madhava, when are people happy? When they have enough wealth, prosperity. Right, so we see Ashtalakshmi, you know, one who gives wealth and health and multiple other things, prosperity. So then, uh, when one possesses Lakshmi in their house, will they not be happy? So he's saying, you are the husband of Lakshmi. So why will there be any sadness with you? You are always happy. So he's saying, you being the husband of Lakshmi are always happy, but you are asking me to do something which is not going to make me happy. What are you asking me to do? Or what am I here to do, Krishna? You must understand. Maybe you have not still suggested that I should kill them. But yes, I'm standing here because of my fate. But please imagine, Krishna, don't you want to be happy being the husband of uh, uh, Mother Lakshmi? Exactly like that. I want to be happy as well. But by doing this particular action of killing my own kinsmen, you know, although they are aggressors, why, how will I be happy? So I don't want to do this. So Prabhupada brings in a beautiful example from the scriptures to say um, that there was one other saintly king, saintly Kshatriya, because for a Kshatriya, the saintly nature does not really uh, uh, fit. You know, it's not fair for a Kshatriya to be speaking like a, 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 a saint. You know, you're not a saint, you're a Kshatriya. You're supposed to fight for your kingdom and, and protect your people. So how can you say like this? So then imagine he's going to say, oh, look at Lord Rama, such a saintly king. You know, he was always so uh, uh, simple, so giving, so forgiving, so tolerant. And uh, you see, he also killed Ravana, right? Imagine Krishna is going to say this, that uh, even a saintly king as Rama killed his aggressor because he just kidnapped his wife. Ravana kidnapped his wife. You know, out of the four, six types of aggressions that one can do, only one thing he did, which is taking away Lord Rama's wife, Sita Devi. For that, he learned enough lessons from Lord Rama. You know, Sita even says uh, to Ravana, even now, go and surrender to Lord Rama and he will forgive you. He will let you go. But, you know, unfortunately, the poor Ravana's intelligence was taken away, uh, uh, you know, by fate. So he could not surrender to Lord Rama and hence he had to end his life sooner than later. So Krishna is, you know, Prabhupada is saying, oh, look at this amazing saintly king, just like uh, Lord Rama, even he killed Ravana, who was an aggressor. Then Arjuna is responding to that. So these are the Acharya's interesting way of uh, uh, bringing out beauty. Uh, so Arjuna is replying to say, you see, this aggressor is Ravana, but he was truly his enemy. He was not Swajana. But here, you see, Swajana. They are my own father like people, grandfather like people. Why should I kill and why should I take this? They may be aggressors, but oh Krishna, do people kill even aggressors like this who are own relatives? They may have done so many things, you know, who was, which was very aggressive, which has affected us, my family. But even those people, uh, as aggressors, if they are going to be my own relatives, it's not like any other person. Like for Rama, Ravana was not an, uh, a relative. So it was okay that Rama killed Ravana. But you see here in my case, they are my relatives. Do you still think I should kill them? And uh, uh, I will still be happy? I don't think so. So Krishna, I don't want to fight this battle. So, uh, again the verse, Papa meva shraye dasman hatvaita natata yinaha tasman narha vayam hantum dhartarashtran sabandhavan swajanam hi katham hatva sukina syama madhava. Hare Krishna.